Welcome to this episode of Cool Bike Projects. What you're watching here today is something I've wanted to do for a long time. We've moved probably five or six times since my wife and I've been married. And over the years, I've had different versions of a bike shop in my garage. Sometimes it was nothing more than a workbench with a pegboard in the back. Other times I had a legitimate shop where I sold parts and worked on bikes. But now that we've moved back to Idaho, I wanted to have a studio of sorts, a place where I could work on bikes, film them, and make it as easy as possible to do both. So I hope you enjoyed this episode as we build my dream bike shop slash studio. So the first real challenge we ran into was we only had one outlet in the entire garage and a 15 amp breaker. Knowing that I'd want to have a powerful air compressor as well as some other power tools running, it was important to run a bunch of new lines. And luckily for me, my dad is not afraid of electricity. In total, we installed three new boxes and 12 outlets, including a couple USB chargers. On to insulation. So this may seem pretty straightforward, but we used R13 insulation because it's cheaper than R15 and has similar thermal performance. But the bigger reason is we won't be heating or cooling the garage. This will simply be to act as a sound barrier and to keep it a little bit warmer during the winter time. Now that insulation's up, it's time to clad the wall. So you've been wondering why my parents have been so involved in this project. I work remotely for a university, and it's pretty hard to get my parents to not work while I'm at work. So on lunch breaks and at the end of the day, I'd come out and find that mom and dad had already done about half the work. So really, I feel like I'm just documenting everything they've been doing. Still, I'm very grateful for good parents and jealous that my dad is way more talented than I am. I've done quite a few clad boards before with shiplap, but this time we decided to go with a textured floor. For 99 cents a square foot, it was hard to beat price-wise. To keep the boards from expanding during the winter and the summertime, we use brad nails at every joint. So tool-wise, my major upgrade for this bike shop is a new repair stand. I got it as a kit with a bench mount, but really wanted to make it work for the floor. Now, my trusty Feedback Sports repair stand has been awesome for 10 or 12 years. I've used the heck out of it. But the needle bearings are going out, and it's getting harder and harder to find replacement parts. So, using my old stand as a model, I turned to my brother and my dad to see if they could help me fabricate a new stand for the Park Tools head.
I don't know about you guys, but I fought pegboards for years and years. It seems like half the time I'd pull a wrench off, I'd pull a hook with it. And so I was really excited to try out these new magnetic strips. So far they hold everything nice and tight, including my hammer and adjustable wrenches. I'm still working out the kinks, but for now, this is a good start. So one of the things I really wanted to do with this build was have a display wall where I could put up frames and future projects I'd be working on. It's not a huge shop, but for what I'm doing, this still works out great. And I am so excited for future bike projects coming up. We have several more in the queue, and if you haven't seen last week's post, I am looking to collaborate with at least two more people to take your old bike project and help you complete it. I'll put a link to that video below. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's a great way to support my channel.